Okay, um, Mr. Waltman back again, and um, as I said at the end of the last video, uh, what I'd like to talk about in this video is how uh, information travels down one uh, axon. Okay, so what we call call this when a nerve impulse takes place is an action potential, and this is when the electrical charge moves down the length of the axon. Now, you might ask what influences uh, whether or not that electrical charge takes place. That's a very good question. That is based on whether or not through um, the communication from the previous neurons and other neurons around that particular neuron, if the neuron reaches a threshold uh, of, um, we'll talk about threshold in a little bit more detail, but a certain uh, level that prompts the neural impulse to take place. Then what happens at the end of the neural impulse? At the end of the neural impulse, uh, the electrical impulse travels to the axon terminals and will release um, chemicals. Okay, so it gets information whether or not it should, um, whether or not it should uh, have a neural impulse from chemicals from surrounding neurons, and then. Uh, if it does have a neural impulse, it releases chemicals at the other end. But this video, we want to talk about uh, really what happens uh, right here from the cell body uh, down to the axon uh, terminals. All right, you'll notice in this uh, image that um, what is happening here is that it is, um, you see this plus sign and these minus signs. The, the plus signs represent positive ions that are moving into uh, the uh, membrane of the axon. And what is not shown here is what is previous to that, uh, previous to, the, to those moving in. What we had mostly here was negative ions on the inside of the cell. So we say that in its resting state before the neuron uh, has an impulse, that it is a polarized state. Okay, it's negative. As uh, positive ions move in, okay, we see positive ions move in here and here, uh, and even here. Um, we uh, call that depolarizing. Okay, depolarizing, and so it's polarized, negative. Depolarizing would be making the uh, inside of the membrane go from negative to positive. All right, so then you also notice that there is a positive moving back out once they move in. And a, what is called a sodium pump is what is used to kind of pump those positive ions back out so the neuron can fire again. Okay, so let's take a look at this in a little bit more detail and talk about some other terms. All right, so I mentioned the term depolarization. Okay, so you, what, what you need to remember is that in a resting state, the neuron is polarized. Okay, so anytime you hear the term polarized, that tells you that the neuron is in a negative state. Okay, electrical charge, that's what I mean by state. Uh, depolarization occurs when the positive ions move in making it more prone to uh, firing or having an impulse. Now, I didn't say it necessarily guarantees it fires, but it makes it more prone to firing. It has to reach a certain uh, level. The uh, hyperpolarization occurs when negative ions enter the neuron, making it less prone. So the, the negatives um, enter the neuron, and that's going to kind of return it back to a uh, resting state. Okay, so what, ha what, what has to occur for that neuron to fire during a depolarization process? So the depolarization, this sentence right here is important. When the depolarizing current, positive ions, minus the hyperpolarizing current, negative ions, exceed minimum intensity, the neuron fires an action potential. All right. Um, so what that means is that um, the, the 
electrical charge of the neuron in a resting state, in a polarized state, is about minus 70 millivolts. Okay, minus 70 millivolts. So it's negative and it's minus 70 millivolts. If this equation, okay, the, the positive minus the negative, okay, the positive minus the negative in here reaches, uh, I believe it's about plus 30 millivolts, then we have an action potential. Okay? So there has to be, has to reach that uh, threshold. If it does not reach that threshold, the neuron does not fire. Okay? Now, a uh, couple, couple terms, one that I mentioned before, a new one, refractory period. After a neuron fires an action potential, it pauses for a short period to recharge itself to fire again. Okay, so you can't, a neuron's not just going to continually fire. It can fire pretty rapidly, but there is a period of time where it's not going to. Now, um, those positive ions that moved in, what, um, uh, what helps them move back out is what is called the sodium-potassium pump. Okay, it pumps positive ions out from inside the membrane, and that sets it up for another a potential uh, action potential. All right. Now, another uh, concept to kind of understand here is this all-or-none response. So, and that has to do with uh, threshold. So, when it goes from minus 70 millivolts to plus 30 millivolts, it it's not going to fire at any point until it reaches that threshold. As soon as it hits that threshold, it's going to go. Okay? So I like to use the analogy of the trigger on a gun. Okay? You can, you can put pressure on that trigger, but as soon as you reach a threshold, a certain amount of pressure, that bullet's gone. It doesn't matter if you squeeze the trigger softly and slowly, or if it doesn't, or it doesn't matter if you squeezed it very quickly and, and with a lot of force. The, what happens after that with the bullet, it comes out at the same speed no matter how the trigger was pulled as long as you reach the threshold. So neurons uh, and the action potential kind of works in that same way. That, you know, it's not going to fire, but as soon as you reach that threshold of positive 30 millivolts, then it's going to fire. Right? So the intensity of an action potential down here remains the same throughout the length of the axon. Okay, so that action potential is, you know, that's sort of the part um, analogous to uh, the bullet firing. Okay, once you reach threshold and the action potential starts, it's going down the length of the axon and the intensity remains the same all the way down. Same thing. If we look at the bullet, it's going, um, it's going to lose speed obviously, but it's going to uh, come out of the gun at the same speed. Okay, that's going, I'm going to, um, this will be a short video on the action potential. I'm going to make another video starting with this slide, the synapse, because this is the communication uh, between neurons. Okay.